this world is such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean in the ideal sense. I mean in uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a, gimme, gimme, gimme. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like, you taught that from school, everywhere. Big business. If you want to be successful, you want to be like Trump, gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, 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 push. Step, step, step. Crush, crush, crush. That's how it all is. And it's like, nobody ever stopped. Just, you know, I feel like. Instead of us just being like, slavery's bad, slavery's bad, bad whitey, bad whitey. I mean, all right, let's stop that. And everybody's smart enough to know that, I mean, we've been slighted. And we want ours. And I don't mean by, like, uh, ours, 40 acres and a mule, because we passed that. But we need help. I mean, for us to be on our own two feet, us meaning youth or us meaning black people, whatever you want to take it for. For us to be on our own two feet, we do need help. Because we have been here. We have been a good friend. If you want to make it a relationship type thing, we have been there. And now we deserve our payback. It's like you got a friend that you don't never look out for. You know, you dressed up in jewels. Now America's got jewels and they got they paid and everything. And they lending money to everybody except us. And it's like, you know, everybody need a little help on, on their way to being, you know, self-reliant. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing about the album, about the Special Olympics. Everybody need a little something and they to be independent. No independent person just grew up and was born independent. You worked and you learned teamwork and you learned cooperation and unity and struggle. And then you became independent. And we have to teach that and instill that. And why is it that they want to do that? I mean, if this is truly a melting pot in the country where we care about it and Lady Liberty got a hand like this, she really loves us, then we really need to be like that. And it needs to be the black kids. If there's a, a white person who got money, then you need to help them. He need to help black kids, Mexican kids, Korean kids, whatever. But it needs to be real. And it needs to be before we all die and then you say, oh, I made a mistake. We should have gave them some money. We really should have helped these folks. It's going to be too late. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when you got to pay your own karma. And that's when God make you punish. When, you, when God punishes you. Because I feel like, you know, it's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting lotto for $36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, drupal billion dollars and then there's people starving. There's no way. There's no way that these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. You say to people and say, well, they earned it. Now you go out and you're earned it. If they earned it, then I, then I think that that's good. And I, I think that they deserve it. But even if you earned it, you still owe because look at me, I'm not, I don't have that mega money, but I feel guilty walking by somebody. I, I got to give them some mail. And if I know I got $3,000 three, $3, in my pocket, I feel like it's wrong to give that person a quarter or a dollar. It's wrong. Only you know what you got in your pocket. And that's wrong. No matter what they do, if they take it and drink it, they take it and drink it. But, I mean, you got. You understand? And we all know how hard it is, and it's not about if you good or you bad. So since it's not about if you good or you bad, we know that because he don't got, don't mean he was bad. Or don't mean he's a criminal, or don't mean he's crazy, or a drug addict, or none of that. It just means he don't got. And ain't it bad that you got 30? I mean, can you imagine somebody having $32 million? 32. $32 million. And this person has nothing? And you can sleep? You can still go to the movies about, I mean, I mean, and then these, these are the type of people that get humanitarian awards. Millionaires. How can they be humanitarians by the fact that they're millionaires and there's so many poor people shows how unhumane they are. You know what I'm saying? And that, that bugs me. Not saying that when I'm never going to be rich and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it's a struggle and I think everybody deserves it. And I think there's a way to pay these people. I think there is a way. It just takes to be revolutionary. And it takes to, to do something out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that if we just said, okay, 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 okay. I got an idea. No more porno buildings. You know what I'm saying? Let's build houses. Or no more polo games. Let's build houses for poor people. You know what I'm saying? Or, look, okay, I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion. But can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why well, have 52 rooms and you notice somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. And then these people celebrate Christmas. They got big trees, huge trees, all the little trimmings. Everybody got gifts. And there's somebody starving. And they're having a white Christmas. They're having a great Christmas. Eggnog and the whole nine. That's not fair to me.